Everyone's got a favorite studio story. Can you share a memorable or a funny moment from behind the scenes while he's working on the project? Sheesh. My project? Uh, I don't know, bro. <laughs> There's been a lot of wild shit. I feel like the wildest shit, though, is when I threw water on that nigga Reek's face. He was asleep. Mid-session, we was working on, uh, this like on one of the vibes tape. Worth it. He sleeps. Big little drool, coming down his big little fat lip. All types of stuff. Just like Keith and this dude young chop. This psh, woke him up. I said, that's like one of the craziest, like funny little stories we had. Other than that though, I be getting high though, bro. So I was, I don't know, bro. A lot of shit that happened in my life. <laughs> you yeah. Me? Yeah, man. Um, Shout out to Rick though. Shout out to Rick, man, already, man. So, man, I ain't want to get too deep into, man, but the situation, man, where you allegedly had gotten shot, man. <laughs> yeah, you got me dead. Yeah, man, I was like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, 2021, something like that. It was just some bullshit, you know. Motherfuckers ain't, motherfuckers ain't want to really do nothing. I feel me pull the little blick out real quick on some John Wick shit. Try to take a soldier out, but you know, I'm still here and shit, you know? A little minor setback, but you know, I'm here back better, 100%, you know, Man. so, fuck em, you feel me? All I've been saying, fuck em. <laughs> well, that's an testament to me, like, your dream was bigger Oh, hell yeah. Your dream was too bigger than anything, man. Hell yeah, but so, I'm, I'm shining forever. Shining forever, man. So, if you could give one piece of advice to an inspiring artist right now, what would it be? Uh, I'd say to, like, keep going, keep grinding, keep going. Like, just believe in your dream. Like, you got to invest. You feel me? Get the money first, because without the money, ain't nothing going to happen. You feel me? So I said, like, just, just, keep, like, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep going, get that money, get that bag, run it up, chase the dream, keep going. Wise words, from slutty, but it's real shit though. Mm. So what's one thing you wish you knew when you were starting out? Shit. What's that one thing you wish like, all right, if I had to start all over all again, but I had this one knowledge, what's one thing I wish I, I would have known from the start? Shit, that you need money management, now you gotta be able to balance this shit out. That's one thing I wish when I first started, I wish I would like really knew about money management and like like just like more of like the business side to those two things I'd probably keep with me if I had to start over all over. Okay, man. I like that. I like that. Another gem from E, veteran of the game, man. Gem. I'm gonna just soak this all up, man. This, free game, man. It's about a 20-minute interview right now, man. Better soak this all up. Finally, Eli, man, let's talk legacy, man. When it's all said and done, what mark do you hope to leave on the rap game? And what do you want your fans to remember you for? Shit, I just want to be like one of the greats, you feel me? I just want to be like, all right, this nigga, he one of the niggas that, feel me, broke that barrier out of Virginia. Like, it don't even matter. I, I just want to be like, I just want to break that barrier. Like, I feel like if you break that barrier, you'd be known forever. Like. Or just making it like period, you'll be known like they'd be like, yeah, he made it. Oh, he made his impact. He put shit the city going crazy because of him. Like it's just certain shit. Like yeah, I feel like before I go or when everything's said and done with, they gonna be like, yeah, this nigga put put the city on his team, put the city on. Like yeah, on some SB shit. Like SB gonna be known forever, bro. SB man, that's the legacy right there. SB OZB shit, man.